show you guys how Paul Stoma is doing now since there's ulcers on it. Look, okay, so right already, you see an ulcer right there. That is an ulcer. Sorry for the visuals, guys, but that, that, that is one. It's pretty big right there in your face. And you can see I'm bleeding just right there on the edge, like right Why? there. So just a couple concerns you're going to have to run by the doctor and see what do you guys think the lightness is not normal honestly Tonight's gonna be a long night. Uh, we have not done Paul's ostomy bag change in a while, and we wanna update you guys, show you guys how Paul Stoma is doing now since there's ulcers on it, so you guys can get an idea of how ulcers look, and also change his bag. But first, I have to take care of Sushi. I have to play with her a little bit more, then give her her bath, then put her down, Paul will be resting the whole time because like you guys know his stoma does prolapse so it sticks out so it's hard to change it when it's sticking out so I mean he needs to rest so it could go back in and then we can start this process sometimes it could take five minutes and recently these past couple of bag changes it's been it takes about over an hour and a half so uh, it's gonna be a long night so let's get this going I have a lot of things ready to go for Paul to make his life easier. I have a bunch of garbage bags because we are handling his, you know, stool. So we definitely want to double bag it. All his supplies, nice and organized, really helps us to move around just in case for something. I have it like divided in two. This side is the removal, so all the stuff to help remove it. We're missing a couple things. Paul's going to get it downstairs. And then this is to, you know, after the removal, him showering. The putting back together process. We don't have any bags up here, so Paul's gonna go down there and get some. But we have everything to, you know, put his bag back on. So uh, now it's time to put baby sushi down. Alrighty guys, so I successfully given sushi a bath, put her down, pumped, and now I'm about to do Paul's bag. He took a nice little power nap, 45 minutes, because he is exhausted and in a lot of pain. So that's why I'm like doing all the heavy lifting right now. And then now it's time to change his bag out, clean him up, get him in the shower, bring him back, put back on the bag, and relax and go to bed. By then, it should be 11 o'clock, and me and Paul are both exhausted. Right, Paul? Oh, yeah. We're, we're down for the count. Oh, yeah. All right. So it's been it's been a long day today. All right, let's get started.
let's get a nice little close up here if you're squirmish or you can't handle this uh yeah you should have looked away maybe a a few a minutes ago, ago. <laughs> a few minutes ago you're just in that horror you're like ah! ah, well, i can't look away well guys this is paul's intestine look at that isn't it so cute there is a little irritation but it's not that bad it we it, it there it has been worse trust me guys like this is actually looks pretty good thankfully i did shave them a little because that's what our awesome nurse told us to do to help with the irritation and whatnot and it, plus with the bag thing. and it helps everything with the irritation and it helps the bag stick to the skin exactly because if with all this hair and everything yeah paul every single time would have had a beautiful wax section session yeah no the the hair like the hair will like stick down like this and then it'll like peel up a little bit and the bag yeah. just won't stick well. exactly so it looks pretty decent and you know, i'll still do my thing to make sure the skin is good and coated so this is going to show you guys a little bit about palstoma and the ulcers look okay so right already you see an ulcer right there that is an ulcer sorry for the visuals guys but that, that that is one it's pretty big right there in your face hard to tell there's a miniature one right there you can't tell and then a little bit like you can't see it in deep in that crevice i think i see like two as well and this is oh and then there goes you know maybe one right there too like a little white speck but that one's the one that's more Prominent. out there yeah, yeah like you see it so i'm coming out you, i don't know if you guys can see see like there's two dots right there too yeah so that just shows that paul has his crohn's back of course and we gotta keep going finding the right treatment for him right yeah it sucks but this is part of life yeah. so guys that's how paul stoma looks with ulcers, you know, sometimes we can never see ulcers because, of course, they're on the inside of us. But then when you have stomas like this, you can see them. There, there it is. I wanted to show you guys. And when my stoma sticks out like a full on, like mm -hmm. four or five inches, there's a little cluster of it, like further in that you can't see here. But when it prolapses, oh, yeah, you can After see. After his shower, guys, we'll show you. So right now, Paul's gonna shower, and then you guys are gonna see how much it sticks out. So Paul is back out of the bathroom. How's I, that stoma looking? I showered really quick, so yeah. it's not sticking out that much, like so you can see. It was sticking out just a little bit. Yeah, it's actually not as bad as it used to You know, is. it sounds bad. If my stoma could be this prolapsed all the time, like where it doesn't go out further than this and it doesn't go in further than this, it would be perfect. Because that way they have different bags that kind of like wrap around it. But unfortunately, my stomach goes whoop, all the way inverted, all the way back inside. So it's not a bad thing, it just makes it slightly more complicated. As we were mentioning before, you know, there's sometimes you can see some ulcers, but right now it's kind of too far in to really tell. You, know, you can see I'm bleeding just right there in the edge, like right Why? there. Oh, no. Or just an ulcer. Do you see any other ulcers though? Yeah, it's a couple right there, so yeah. we'll see. Alrighty guys, I am gloving up, getting ready. Let's get this going, shall we? And we start with some of the basics here, so. Mm-hmm. Mm, you're pooping. Blood and mucus. Oh, okay. I love it. Oh, okay. Squeamish look away. So as you can see, there's lots of mucus that comes out. My Crohn's disease is very active right now, unfortunately, so it does produce a lot of mucus. Give me a piece of gauze real quick. You so black, mm -hmm. Now we're seeing some white. We don't know what that is. I don't know if you guys could tell. So guys, as you guys can see, there's always something new popping up and we always have to run it by the doctors. There is like a little whiteness, like, ugh. Let me see if I could get it better on Paul's phone. Alright, a little bit better. You guys can see it's a, a little bit overhead. Got a lot of whiteness. We don't know what that is. As you guys can tell, Paul's stoma doesn't look, doesn't look the best. Just a couple concerns we're going to have to run by the doctor and see. What do you guys think? The whiteness is not normal honestly okay right, so you know i got a little q-tip here just to see if it comes off doesn't hurt paul right paul no don't even feel it yeah it's not coming off maybe no, it's just it's a, maybe a buildup of mucus that's what i'm thinking 
But they all started. Doubt it now. Why? Let's sink them off and. Definitely gotta run that by your doctor for sure. So we're just gonna definitely keep going and put on pulse. Now that my skin is all prepped, it's uh, very sticky. Nice is doing the Ekin ring. It's kind of like it. It's like Play Doh. You have to like smash it down. Yeah. That's the way I was taught. So, so basically, it's, it's just a ring and you can mold it into place. And it's super, super sticky. That is what goes directly around my stoma and on my skin. And the bag goes attached to that. Now, you don't necessarily need the Ekin ring. You can just attach the bag straight to your skin, but me, since I've been having issues with getting the bag to stick to my body, the Ekin ring comes in handy. And once upon a time when there wasn't Ekin rings around, there was like a paste that they used. Oh, yeah. And I also have that paste too. So if I'm going to do like a colonoscopy prep or something, I do the Ekin ring, I do the paste, so that it really sticks on there. I don't know if you're talking you about know the paste I mean? not coming off. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the final piece. Paul likes it like diagonal, not too straight, not to the side. Perfect when he's emptying out the bag. Poop's about to come out, so we're gonna do this quickly. Before the cracking is unleashed. And then we push down. I like to push where the heat entering is, make sure it's all good, which it all pretty much is. As you guys can see, poop is starting to come out, so we did this just, just the right in time. time. We're gonna put down everything else. Yeah. Now what I do is I just put my hands around the bag, like here on the sides where the adhesive is for a little bit, because the adhesive is heat activated, so it's gonna help a lot. So now that the bag is on, uh, we do put on these little extra strips. It's and Paul's preference. Yeah, so this helps just the bag be have a little bit wider footprint and it'll be a little bit more secure on my body. I do also use the belt around it to secure it just a little bit if I'm doing something a little bit more strenuous, but if not, just with these strips and the bag, I'm good. And I like it because it gives me a little bit more freedom. I don't really feel anything on my body anymore, honestly. That's good, you're used to it, yeah. Yeah, so. It's a it's... part of you now. Exactly. Ain't no going back now. And that's it. So again, more heat with my hands like this. And uh, that's it. Alrighty, guys. And we are donezo. I'm happy because this is officially the end of my night-ish. So after this bag change, you know, the last bag change we did was a few months ago. So just wanted to show you guys an update. Although we change my bag every... Three to five days. Yes, we, we do. It there we go. <laughs> I guess I worded that very poorly. <laughs> no, yes, we change it constantly, but I haven't posted a vlog about it in a while. And we've been noticing there's some ulcers, and I thought it was an educational vlog. Educational, educate some of you guys, just because no one knows what, how ulcers looks unless you know you do a scope. So we had an ulcer right here. I got to show you guys, and some mysterious white goop that didn't come off it was like kind of discolored your stoma a little those are, those are ulcers those are ulcers yeah. you think so yeah. i don't think so aren't ulcers supposed to be like bumps no, not he's overwhelmed aren't you yep. yeah all right guys we're gonna end it this was a lot for paul mentally just seeing his stoma like that you know it's a heavy burden but doesn't mean we stop trying. We're going to definitely go to the doctors. We got video footage of it, pictures to show what is going on. Paul is still at the beginning phases of his infusion. Scott Weezy. And we will be getting the next dose very soon. So we're on top of it. We are going to get his health back on track. Right, Paul? Yep. Just got to stay positive. And I, you guys don't feel Paul's aura, but I feel it. And Paul is just not happy right now i'm here to cheer him up and make him happy so this is where we end it do not forget to like share 
and subscribe. Do not forget, we always post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we'll keep you guys updated on Paul's health. I got to be here for him right now. And we will see you guys back again on Thursday. So guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.